Well, hello again. This is Pastor Benny Parrish with you, and I'm pleased to be here today. And on our, some of our last videos, we talked about debt. Is debt a curse or is it a blessing? So we looked at Deuteronomy, and I want to just go back over those verses again. Deuteronomy 28, I want to read uh, Deuteronomy 28, 43 through 45. So we can remember what we learned last time. The stranger that is within thee shall get up above thee very high, and thou shalt come down very low. He shall lend to thee, and thou shalt not lend to him. He shall be the head, and thou shalt be the tail. Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee, and shall pursue thee, and overtake thee, till thou be destroyed, because thou hearken not unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to keep his commandments and his statutes, which he commanded thee this day. So, we find here again that the scriptures in Deuteronomy place debt in a position of being a curse and not a blessing. So, uh, I want to look today at some other scriptures, just a few, and then we're going to talk about how do we get out of debt? What is the procedure? You know, when I was about 35, uh, I was in debt, not bad debt, but I mean, I was, uh, I had debt for uh, a house and different things. And the Lord told me, I don't want you to have any debt. So I had to learn how to get out of debt. And that's what I hope to do here today is give you some scripture uh, and a 10 step process that you might want to consider to get out of debt. But let's look a little more at debt. And uh, I want to read you out of Proverbs 22, verse 7. And it reads, The rich ruleth over the poor, and the borrower is servant to the lender. So we don't want to be a servant to a bank. We want to be a servant to God. So how does the world really get us in debt? Uh, I'll tell you, one of the things that is happening throughout our country is what's happened over the years is that <clears throat> inflation has risen faster than your wages have for many of us. And when that happens, uh, if you continue to spend at the same level and the price of everything uh, goes up, but your wages don't go up at the same pace, then what happens is you have to borrow to maintain that same standard of living. So this is how the world really wants to put not only governments, but individuals and states and anybody uh, they can into a debt. You know, we really uh, should owe only one debt, and that debt would be the debt of love. So I want to read you Romans 13:8. Owe no man anything but to love one another, for he that loveth another fulfilled the law. So we are indebted to love one another. Another scripture out of Psalms 37, 21, the wicked borroweth and payeth not again. In other words, you're in the wicked column. If you borrow and don't, you don't repay, but it also says, but the righteous show of mercy and giveth. So if you want to show of mercy and be able to give, really, you need to get yourself out of debt first so that you can freely give of the resources that God gives you. So here, here, here are the 10 steps to get out of debt. The first step begins with prayer. And that's where I began my journey. I said, okay, Lord, I don't know anything, so tell me what you want me to do step by step to get out of debt. So I began to pray, and I began to get answers from God. And it didn't all come at one time. It just came step by step. Here are the things that I want you to do to be completely debt-free. So 
The most important thing to do is pray throughout the whole process. Now, number two is to decide which debts to pay off first. They could be credit cards, they could be car loans, they could be student loans. When you get those things uh, cleared up, you might, you might want to start on your home equity loan. You may have medical debt. Uh, you may want to accelerate your mortgage when you get to the end of this and pay your house off. So you want to go through a process and decide. And I find it very encouraging that you pick some of the smaller debts and pay them off first to kind of get on a roll. And then once you get these smaller debts paid off, that gives you more money to concentrate on the other debts that you're looking at. So number three would be to control the use of plastic. In other words, if you're gonna use plastic, then you must pay it off each month. You cannot roll debt over on a, on a credit card from month to month. The interest rates are too high, it just won't work for you. If you can't do that, and if plastic encourages you to buy more than what you really would buy if you were using cash, probably the best thing for you to do is to cut up your credit card and don't use it anymore. So control the use of plastic was number three. Number four is to be content with what you have right now. Be content with what you have right now. That's very important because if you can do that, that will encourage you to do number five, which is accumulate no new debt. Accumulate no new debt. So in other words, as you're paying it off, don't get off track and, and find, oh, I just gotta have this. No, accumulate no new debt. Number six, to accelerate the paying off of debt is consider earning additional in income, uh, maybe a part-time job for a while. Uh, you know, there's all kinds of ways you can earn additional income. Uh, one way that you can earn income is to sell what you're not using. In other words, look at everything that you have and if there are things that you're not using anymore, sell them. Take that money and pay debt off with it. We all accumulate things over time that lose their glimmer and you know we just don't use them anymore. So that is a good way to keep your debt down and to accelerate getting out of debt. Number eight is to consider a radical change in lifestyle. Why? Well, because you may want to it, reduce your expenses. And that's one of the things I did when I started my journey is God asked me to do is to sell my house and to move into a house that was a lot less expensive and just rent for a while until I could accumulate enough money to go back and buy a house and pay for it. So you, you can do that. Now, number nine is you need a budget. If you're married, this is really important. You and your wife, it's important whether you're married or not, but it's important if you are married that you would sit down with your wife and the two of you would decide together as one unit how you were going to spend God's money. It's not your money, it's God's money. You need to realize that. So you need to make a budget to, um, to, how, to see how you're gonna spend God's money. And when you make the budget, it has to have a surplus at the end to start paying off the debt that you may have accumulated over a period of time. And the last one, number 10, is after you build this budget, you must not give up on the budget. You must stay on the budget. You must not give up on it. Don't get discouraged if you have a bad month. Uh, this is where prayer comes back in. Number one was to pray. You know, just pray and ask God 
uh, what went wrong. So I hope these 10 steps will really help you get out of debt and that you'll really begin to see that debt is not a blessing and that it, it's a curse. And God doesn't want you to be cursed. He wants you to be blessed. And if you'll keep his commandments, then you can be a giver and not a borrower. So that's, that's what God really has planned for all of us, to be in a position where we can give and we don't have to borrow. So thank you for listening. And if you like this video, then uh, I would ask you to hit the, subs the subscribe button and to hit the notification bell. And when there's a new video that comes out, you'll be notified immediately. And I'm gonna have more videos talking about uh, debt and how to get out of it. So if you're interested in this subject, stay tuned. Good day.